All right, thanks for joining me today. You know, every boiler needs a smokestack, and smokestacks do more than just take the exhaust up. Sometimes they end up being pretty important landmarks. Stay tuned, we're gonna look at smokestacks on steam culture. Okay, the history of the smokestack, well, the ancient Romans really developed a concept like everything else they developed. They started punching holes in the side of their bakeries to relieve the smoke, and that's really where it started. Uh, back then, everyone was heating their house with a fire, and they're just a big smoke-filled room, so they needed a way to relieve the smoke. So from there, the upper-class English started to put chimneys uh, in their houses in order to get the smoke out, and, and the chimney was invented, basically. Now, the stack functions with a concept called stack effect, or draft, and this is the formula for it right here. But we're not gonna talk about that because it's a concept you're probably already familiar with, and that is that hot air rises. When you heat air, it becomes less dense, and it becomes more buoyant than the outside air around it. So much like a piece of wood would float in water, hot air is gonna rise above because it is more buoyant than the outside air. Now the purpose of the stack is to magnify that effect, which creates more natural draft, which helps with combustion in the boiler and a few other things. Okay, so now you know why the smokestack exists and its purpose, I wanna show you some unique and even iconic smokestacks from the US and around the world. Several cities have embraced the existing smokestacks to define their landscape. The Battersea smokestacks appeared on Pink Floyd's 1977 album cover, Animals. Great American Paul Park in Cincinnati has flaming smokestacks whenever the Reds hit a home run. Some student here painted this smokestack as a cigarette in order to protest an anti-smoking ban. Here's one in the Baltimore City Harbor, which is an excellent example of repurposing. Now here's some large smokestacks. The Asarco El Paso smokestack was the tallest of its kind, made of bricks 585 feet high. The tallest smokestack in the Western Hemisphere is the Inco Superstack in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, 1,250 feet high, and the tallest smokestack in the world is the GRES-2 power station in Kazakhstan, 1,377 feet high. Okay, so while smokestacks serve a real purpose, they are really awesome to look at. Well, thanks for joining me this week while we did our episode on smokestacks. I'll have something else for you next week here on Steam Culture. Come find us on social media because we're everywhere. You have a great weekend.